Our first theory is photosynthetic theory. And we're going to speak about this theory during the day and at night time. During the day and at night. Now we, uh, we start with the photosynthetic theory. We say during the day, the chloroplast in the gut cell will carry out photosynthesis. And now once they carry out the photosynthesis, they will produce sugar. And this sugar is osmotically active. And this sugar is osmotically active. It brings about the osmotic effect where it will increase the osmotic pressure in the gas cells. And once the osmotic pressure in the gas cells is increased, the stomata, now the stomach, the gas cells will absorb water from the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells. And the stomata will, and the gas cells will abide outward and the stomata will open. At night, the photosynthesis will hardly spread because there is no light for photosynthesis. And now the, the, the and now now for the the now the gas cells the starch, the sugar in the gas cells will be converted the sugar in the gas cells will be converted to starch and we know that starch is osmotically act is osmotically inactive now now the gas cells will lose water to the neighboring and it doesn't in the amount cells and once it loses water to the neighboring and it doesn't in the gas cells will get plasmalized and the stomata will close now the second theory is starch sugar in the conversion theory now during the day the photosynthesis part the gas cells. Photosynthesis takes place in the gas cells and now once photosynthesis takes place in the gas cells, it will absorb carbon dioxide. Now this absorption of carbon dioxide therefore increases the pH. And once the, the pH is increased, the starch now will be converted to glucose. Now the starch now is converted to glucose and you know glucose is osmotically active. Now what is osmotically active, it brings about the osmotic effect where it increases the osmotic pressure in the gas cells. Now the gas cells will absorb water from the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells. And once it absorbs water from the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells, now the gas cells will burn out and the stomata will grow. During the night, during the night, photosynthesis will not take place, therefore carbon four oxide will not be used. Now the carbon four oxide will accumulate in the gas cells. Now the accumulation of carbon four oxide in the gas cells will lower the pH of them. We lower the pH. We lower the pH in the gas cells. And once the pH is lower, now the gas the osmotic pressure in the gas cells will decrease. And once the osmotic pressure decreases as compared to the neighboring and the brown cells, now the gas cells will lose water to the neighboring and adjacent epidermal cells. And once it loses water, it becomes plasmalized and the stomata will close. Now the last theory is called the potassium ion theory. This theory basically relates the gas cells, the chloroplast, the light, ATP molecules. We say during the day, photosynthesis takes place in the gas cells of the chloroplast in the presence of light, producing ATP molecules. Now the key word here is adenosine triphosphate molecules. Now these ATP molecules Will now drive, will now accumulate the gas cells and they now start driving the potassium ions will be transported from the neighboring epidermal cells into the gas cells. Now the accumulation of potassium ions in the gas cells. Now the accumulation of potassium ions in the gas cells and also hydrogen ions will be expelled out from the gas cells. Now the accumulation of potassium in the ions in the gas cells will increase the osmotic pressure in the gas cells. And once the osmotic pressure in the gas cells increases. And now what happens? Once the osmotic pressure in the gas cell increases, now water will be absorbed from the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells and the stomata and the gas cells will burn out of and the stomata will open. What happens at night? At night, there will be no photosynthesis taking place because of the absence of light. Therefore, the number of ATP molecules produced will be lower. Once the number of ATP molecules produced will be lower, this therefore means this therefore means that the potassium ions will be expelled. Now the potassium ions will be expelled from the gas cells into the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells. Once the potassium ions will be expelled into the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells, which means the hydrogen ions will now be moved into the gas cells. Now, now the presence of hydrogen, the presence of hydrogen ions in the gas cells will lower the osmotic pressure in the gas cells. And once the osmotic pressure in the gas cells is lower, this therefore means the gas cells will lose water to the neighboring adjacent epidermal cells. The, now the gas cells will get phosphorized and the stomata will close. Thank you very much.